So we're all in our 60s. That's kind of the theme of this thing. And we've all been married a long time, like uh, 42 here. 37 coming up. Uh, 37, 37 coming up. All to the same mm -hmm. woman. That's, yes. <laughs> Husband Which, of one wife. It, it is a precious thing. So a key of longevity. I, I read Bonhoeffer the other day, and I tweeted about it, I think. And he said um, to a couple he was marrying, the covenant from this day forward sustains the love, not the love, the covenant. And I, at 42 years of marriage, feel very strongly that needs emphasizing, that uh, romance and falling in love is a beautiful thing, and re-falling in love mm -hmm. again and again is important. And that re-falling in love after seasons of pain can be sustained only if you elevate covenant above those affections and that, that romance. So that, that's kind of my main message to the younger fellas and gals who would say, what do you want to tell us about our, our marriages? And I would want to say, you have covenanted and God has created, God has united this and you have covenanted. That covenant exists, it exists. Mm -hmm. Your affections, they exist and then they don't exist. You get angry and then you don't get angry. You feel so mad, you'd wonder where did all that affection go? And that can be reborn because there's this massive platform. In popular terms, I heard that on British TV when I was a, a, doing, doing doctoral studies in the early 70s. There was this old man who was being interviewed uh, who had been married for something like 60 years or 65 years and his wife was there with him and, and um, the, the interviewer was saying, during all this time, uh, haven't you ever considered divorce? And he bristled. Divorce? Divorce? Never, never. Murder often. Divorce never. <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously you can, you, you, you can make that sound ridiculous, but it's got a point. Uh, it does have it, a point. It, it, it does have a point. I think I agree. You know, Lewis Smedes wrote a, an article called "The Power of Promising" uh, in the Christianity Today back in the '80s, and he was already up there in age. And he, in it, he was talking about his marriage promise, and he said, "My wife has been married to seven, uh, to five men. Every one of them has been me." And he says the one thing, that the thread that, that kept all five of them together is my promise. My mm -hmm. promise is I will be there for you, I will be faithful to you. And he's trying to get across the fact that you change, uh, your spouse changes, and uh, uh, it reminds me a little bit of Stanley Hauerwas who says you always marry the wrong person, mm -hmm. which means even if you think you're marrying the right person, marriage is such a big deal that once you actually get together, you start to change each other. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you, the, the basis of your marriage can't be the feeling, and the basis of your marriage can't even be uh, we're just kindred spirits because your spirits will go in and out of being kindred. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing that keeps it is the promise. I made a promise. I've made an appointment with you in the future to be your husband mm -hmm. every year, every year. Right. I think you're absolutely right. It's a covenant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and we, we've got to go because each of us has things to do here, but, but I would just underline if that sounds too duty-oriented for people, that's the ground in which the flower grows. Hmm. That's the ground, which, hmm. because if, if you're in a season right now where yeah. the flower is wilted, and you think the solution is to pull the plant up, that's not the solution. Hmm. The, 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 the ground of covenant, the ground of promise, mm -hmm. the ground of no divorce, maybe murder, but no that, that's the that that's that's the ground where it can can reflourish and it, and it does I just testify from 42 years that falling in love with my wife again and again is a very beautiful thing and ideally that is nurtured at least in part by um, grounding marriage itself in scripture in a in a big framework yep. um, we're made by God and for God uh, this is his design not my design there is a huge typology between husband and wife and Christ and the church. We're saying something about Christ and the church by the way we act. So, in other, in other words, the renewal of the covenant is not merely, I use merely advisedly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, an act of will. It, yeah. it, is, it is itself grounded in what the new covenant is about and what That's the gospel right. is about and who That's God right. is and so on as well. We are, we are testifying by our perseverance in covenant keeping 
something about the Christ covenant and the keep. church That's right. in covenant with each other. That's and exactly we lie right. about Christ and we lie about what the church is obliged to do if we Yeah, leave I think her. that's right. We're talking We're more done. about marriage, I'm gonna cry. <laughs>